New Android 4.4 and Nexus 5 leaked photos emerge. Sony's smartphone strategy seems to focus on anything but the United States, and Apple seems to not be happy about their iPhone 5C sales. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm skipping the beer jokes today because I ran out of them about an hour ago celebrating. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as those of you waiting for some hot Xperia phones from Sony to reach the United States, well, your wait is over, but not really for good reasons. Sony CEO just came on record to state that they are staying away from the United States and Chinese market for the time being as they're focusing on making the Sony smartphone brand popular in Europe and other markets because the United States and Chinese markets seem to be too complicated for Sony at the moment, which is, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's a smart strategy or not, but were any of you actually looking out for the Xperia Z1, for example? Leave us a comment. And if you're still wondering exactly how many tablet-optimized applications are there for Android tablets, well, as it turns out, Google's gonna make it easier for you because they've just launched a new section in the Google Play Store with tablet-optimized apps, which is awesome considering how long it's taken Google to get enough applications for this to actually be worthy of showing. Still, for those of you that want that Twitter application, sadly, that is still an exclusive to the Note 10.1. So, anyways. Speaking of Google, we've got some leaked photos of Android 4.4 KitKat running on the Nexus 5, and to make it even more interesting, we get to learn about the features that are coming in the operating system. Apparently, it'll be easier to launch the camera from the lock screen, there is more integration to NFC apparently for payments, and you will now be able to launch Google Now without necessarily gesturing anything. Just say, OK Google, and apparently the phone will respond. And apparently there are some other enhancements here and there, though it's obviously hard to tell exactly how many are coming in the operating system. So please stay tuned and hopefully we will be getting something in the next coming days. Now let's talk about that Nokia Lumia 2520 Windows tablet, which we finally get a press render of. And yeah, it looks like a bloated Lumia, which is actually good, but even more interesting, we get some dates and pricing. Apparently it'll be launched in mid-November for Verizon for $500. Yeah, Windows RT for $500, again. And then obviously on the other hand, apparently we will be getting an AT&T variant that should launch shortly after the Verizon one for the same price. So uh, $500 for a Windows RT tablet, Microsoft, you're not really getting this, are you? And finally, for the interesting news of the day, it seems that Apple is not happy with their performance of the iPhone 5C in sales. According to some trusted sources, Apple was churning as many as 300,000 units a day during the first days of launch. And now that's obviously dropped to 150,000 units, but that's actually because they were expecting for that drop and not really because they're selling more phones. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. Apparently, this source also states that we will be seeing a price drop in the iPhone 5C soon because of this, uh, which is, you know, know, interesting, but you know, that leads me to the question of the day. Would you buy the iPhone 5C if the price dropped? Uh, in my particular case, honestly, I feel that the difference, the price difference between the 5S and the 5C, that $100 was too little to justify not going for the 5S, and that's really what killed the 5C. So yeah, price drop would be interesting, probably $150 off the current price, unlocked obviously, probably free off contract, or at least for 50 bucks or something, I don't know, rebates, whatever, but definitely that 5C is not really worth what Apple is selling it for, so leave us a comment, what do you think? Friends, you know the drill, if you want to get the news first before this video gets recorded, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week. <laughs>